in this problem we're asked to differentiate the function using the quadratic rule. Well the quadratic rule, I'm going to write it down for you here. The quadratic rule says that if you want f prime at some x value, then that's equal to 2 times a times that x value plus b where the original function f of x was equal to oops I gotta put an a in there you know what and actually I'm gonna I'm gonna put this is equal to a times something squared plus b times that same something plus c so you would normally in a book see it written like this f prime of x is equal to 2ax plus b from a function f of x equaling 2, excuse me, equaling ax squared plus bx plus c. So now you might say, well, what, what is all this x not value stuff? Why do they, why does the book keep using x not? Well, what they're saying is this is just a general x. So they're saying if you want a specific point on the line, okay, so if you've got some quadratic function that looks like this and you want this specific x value, let's not call it x because usually we reserve x for kind of floating for any of these. Let's pick an, a specific one. We'll call it x0 or the initial one, okay? So there's no problem with writing this like this because this right here, this is the important one. It doesn't matter what we put in here. I can put in a smiley face, okay? This is completely correct. We can go f prime of a happy face is equal to 2 times a times happy face plus b. It doesn't matter. It's just it's a dummy variable, okay? So for us, We've got a quadratic function here in it, but it's not written in this ax squared plus bx plus c form. So we need to go ahead and FOIL this out. So for, for our problem, we'll do it down here in blue. We have f of x is equal to 9 minus x times 1 minus x. And so if I FOIL that out, that gives me 9 minus x minus 9x plus x squared which is x squared minus 10x plus 9. So my a value is 1, my b value is negative 10, and although I'm not asked for it, we'll write down the c value of 9. So the derivative as a function of x is going to be equal to 2 times the a value times the whatever you see here, okay, plus the b value. So that's going to be 2x minus 10. That's the derivative. Now, the book will write it like this. f prime of x naught is equal to 2x naught minus 10. This is correct. This is correct. And of course, just to prove the point, this is also correct. Okay, that's it. That's all you got to do.